Hey, man. What's the matter? I woke up before. I know your tooth's an eyesore, but why do you sound like you're a thousand? I woke up before. You're what now? <sighs> My WooCommerce store can't take orders. Oh, must be plugin conflict. Plugin conflict? Yeah, I mean, you keep installing all these WordPress plugins so their code begins to clash and you become miserable for the rest of your life. I'm already miserable. Have you tried Shopify? Yes, and I sold the family horse to get the plugins. Wait, really? Family horse? I can still remember Sheila's first word. Nay. Okay, well, have you tried sell- Nay! Nay! Nay, 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 nay. Have you tried selling? Nay, 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 nay. There's software I use. <laughs> Will you cut it? <laughs> oh, Sheila! Are you done? Yes, I just miss her so much. Run free, Sheila. Run free. I was saying you could buy Sheila back with your earnings from Seldon. Sell what now? Seldon. You know, the advanced business OS that helps you start selling online and offline without the need for plugins, templates, or coding. Tell me more. For the sake of this review, I've been given access to the sample store. This one's called Royal Life. Let's hover over that and ooh. Immediately, there's a pop-up that tells me that the products are 97% physical. And how many new versus returning visitors there are. Let's click it. Wow, that store is royal. Look at all these juicy analytics. I know it might look a little intimidating, but that's because this is already a massive store. All of this is gonna come in handy and help you make smarter decisions. Now, the first thing you should know is that Zelda knows how language can impact your sales. That's why they've got 99 languages right now. Let's go to settings, then localization over here. There we go, look at all these languages. 10 pages worth. 94% of the world doesn't speak English, so it's smart to build your store in your local language. That helps your country become a captive market. This store already has English installed, and let's install Espanol just because. That was fast. Now we've chosen our language, let's add some products. Whoa, we've got hundreds of sample products here. Headphones, fitness, fashion, coaching lessons. Hmm, let me show you something neat. Let me hit control P. Ha! There. It is in fact a business OS down to the shortcut key level. We can see that we can add all sorts of products, physical, virtual, files, services, and even subscriptions. Let's click on physical. We can see that there are a lot of details that we can fine tune. SKU, MPN, products, global trade item number. This is thorough. But yeah, setting this up might take a while. Thankfully, we've got a lot of sample products we can use as references. Let's go a product list on the top left. From the store, let's go to my personal favorite, headphones. Did that just zoom in? It zooms in. Love these previews. Let's take a look at these headphones. Select edit over here. That is a lot of information that we can edit. We've got warranties, return policies, product specs, names, prices, photos, and fancy product descriptions. Look at those headphones, they're like straight out of Soar or something. We've got these variants and lots of useful information. Now, if adding products one by one is too slow for you, you can actually add thousands of products in minutes with their templates. Just go back to products and head over to this download sample button over here. You can choose a simple or full Excel template. Just pick one. Huh, that is simple. Category, title, brand, price, just the essentials. Once you fill it out, just drag it to sell done like so. Ooh, and they're imported. This is especially helpful if you're migrating from another platform. Now, this feature is gonna blow your minds. Drag and drop. See what I did there? I'm gonna add a new category, old headphones. So we got our new old headphones category here, and we can add this over here. Magic. Now, once you've added your products, you need at least one payment gateway to receive money. Let's go to accounting and gateway. At this point, the money goes straight to your account and the sell done fees are deducted from your wallet. You also get to choose your currency from among 142 currencies. That is a lot. If you wanna sell in other currencies, just select your exchange rate. Now, for each of these currencies, sell done lets you add a popular payment method like Stripe, Braintree, quick pay, 
PayPal, Paystack, and there's also cash payment for cash on delivery and POS. Now, thanks to Selden's partnership with Stripe, you would just click an auto connect button over here to connect this gateway to your account. Now, I'm a firm believer that your domain name has a massive impact on your brand's credibility. And this also applies to e-commerce websites. Domain names are kind of like your business cards to the world and people would be more likely to buy from you if you have your own. So for that, we go to settings, then domain. And here you can easily add your domain to Seldon using a domain provider and Cloudflare. For more info on that, just click this tutorial over here. Now, let's say you want to run a new marketing campaign, introduce a new product, or build an attractive homepage for your website. For that, Seldon's got this incredible drag and drop builder where you can just drag and drop ready-made sections of a website. Look at that fire. Drag this over here. Ooh, this is very AI. Seldon, of course, lets you edit these templates. You can change the text. This is new text. You can order these sections like so, and basically replace everything here with your content and business data. You can can of course build a new page from scratch. So you've got everything from galleries, modern animation, sliders, and blog features to make sure visitors are hooked. Now let's talk about sell done POS. Let's click POS over here. This section lets you sell items in store in sync with your online sales so you never have to worry about running out of stock. Now with this interface, you can connect wirelessly to offline selling hardware like barcode scanners and printers without using third-party software. So all you have to do is add products to the cart. Let's get some shorts just because we can. There we go. Then from there, let's check out. And we can even add active incentives like coupons and discount codes. So let's select this 30% discount over here. You see the discount is already accounted for. And bam, confirm cash payment. Hmm, we got this nice payment confirmation over here. And from here, you can finally receive the order amount online or in cash. This is amazing because you get to save on both hardware and software costs. You don't need to buy a cash register, customer screen, or barcode scanner. You can see the connected devices over here. Your employees can check inventory on their smartphones or change their stock in real time using the web app or mobile app. You'll only need a laptop to run an online and offline business. Now let's check out logistics, which is one of the most challenging aspects of any retail business. Look at that. Look at all that data. You can also do bulk updates to your inventory and bulk price changes in percentages or as a constant number. And you can apply that to specific categories. So let's say you can add 25% specifically to the microwave category because you want your microwave microwaves to be very expensive. This is a microwave revolution. And under shipping, you can add international shipment services for the export or the local courier for selling within your country to sell done. Also, you can define customized logistics rules for your employees. Say I click add courier over here and add a user as a courier. You can even monitor and limit the distance, weight, dimensions of the package and the vehicle. Shipping services speed up fulfilling your orders. You can gather and deliver orders with just one click. It works based on the customer's postal code and address. First, you would need to create a Shippo account, then select the Shippo section in Seldon, and then you would enter the keys to activate it in Seldon. This way you can give out the shipment codes and safely deliver your products to your customers. International couriers like DHL, UPS, and FedEx are some of the companies supported by Shippo. Now, when you're doing marketing, here are some fancy tools you can use. Under incentives, you can offer discount codes, coupons, offers, gift cards, and even lotteries. Now, who doesn't love lotteries? Or at least free ones. Lotteries are pretty cool because you can actually set up prizes that they can win at the checkout page. See, when we add a lottery item, we can add all sorts of things. You can add an image to make it more appealing. You can determine the chances of winning. 5%. Let's make it 001%. Please don't do that. Oh, thank goodness they converted it to 1%. Prizes can include discounts, products, gift cards, cash even. And you can make it such that only customers who are part of a certain club or level can participate in the lottery. Now, under customers, you can determine five different levels or clubs for your customers. And it goes from bronze to diamond. Now, if you want loyal customers, it always helps to have a community. And that's why Seldon has its own community feature, which is like,
what? Usually that's software of its own. So let's check out that community page. This is definitely community software. You can create new topics to foster discussion, create tutorials, unboxings. So many features here and it's even SEO friendly. You got moderators, administrators, and because you aren't building your community on a social media platform, you aren't renting your space from them. And to top it all off, other services like Google Tag Manager and Facebook ads are integrated with Seldon. They make ads advertising seamless for you. If you want other people to advertise for you, you can use affiliate links. Pretty cool, right? Here you can create a new affiliate partner and set precise settings for each of them. So I have a friend say named Bob. Bob can get paid in a percentage-based commission of 30% or say a fixed commission of $50. So if you just want a fixed commission, make the percentage zero. You also have restrictions so they can only get commissions for specific products. Lots of flexibility here. Now, if you want to appear at the top of search engine results pages like Google and Bing's, you need to have a blog. Selden's blogs are sleek and they have a very intuitive drag and drop interface. So this is the title, subtitle, I would select that. Very familiar blog parameters here. That's heading two. And here's how a finished blog might look on our Selden website itself right there. Selden's got all the blog elements that you need. Of course, the key to blog SEO is making sure that your articles have great content that people are willing and ready to share. Thankfully, you can add your staff. Now in the access section, you can add your employees with access to only a specific number of things. Product managers get access to these, financial managers get access to these, so on and so forth. Now here's a feature that will come in handy when you're on vacation. The seller specific Selden app. It helps you process your orders quickly, update your inventory, and see how your business is doing overall thanks to notifications. Now that's a general overview of Selden, but there's one more killer feature that you gotta know about. Selden's marketplace feature. Make your own Amazon, Fiverr, Etsy, you name it. Just make sure you're using the enterprise plan because that's where they add the feature. Go to your store, then settings and click on business model. You'll see all these different business models and it's just nuts how Seldon is able to do all of this. Anyhow, just click marketplace. <laughs> Love these live animations. The marketplace is essentially the Amazon business model. Think of a marketplace as a giant digital mall. The mall lets a whole bunch of different vendors or seller offer their products to different customers across the globe. Now, when you buy something from this mall, you might be buying from the vendors and not the mall itself. Now the mall owner, that's you, makes money by charging fees from these vendors for using the mall or the platform. It does say here that this is very complicated, so this is a high complexity, high reward model. Now we're still using the sample store, which happens to be a sample marketplace called Royal Life. And let's click on marketplace to the top right. And bam, we see our vendors. Let's check out Hire Marcel. Under the vendor Hire Marcel's profile, you get to see their logo, name, description. You get to add them as a user through their email ad. Let's copy this over here. You get to add them like this. You can even make them a location-based vendor. Fascinating. For business and payment, they can state whether or not they're a business or individual, and they can include all their bank info over here so they can get paid faster. You can even assign a pricing model to their store. So this is used to calculate the margins that the marketplace takes based on the vendor products. Under access, you can choose whether to enable or disable their status. You can choose whether or not to give them vendor panel access, which is where they would be able to change product prices, add products, categories, so on and so forth. And just in case you need it, you can delete the vendor. Over here to the right, you can view each vendor's panel. Look at all these details. We can even see their balance, their products, inventory. Now, when we go back to marketplace settings, we can choose whether or not we want the vendors to have the ability to add their products or if we want to disable that and do that for them. Same thing with the categories. This fulfillment section is incredible. You can see the status of every order at a glance. And this is divided into different product types like physical, virtual, files, and services over here. Now all that backend stuff is great, but this is what the actual marketplace looks like. Back to our favorite pair of headphones. Look at that, complete with reviews, 
countdown timer, variations of the product. That is seamless. You can even add the product to comparisons, favorite it, message the vendor on Messenger and Telegram. And of course, you can add it to cart. And we can even choose which vendor we want to get it from. I've just scratched the surface of the marketplace feature, but by now, I hope you've got a pretty good idea of what's possible with this. Let's talk about social proof. As of recording this, Selden has 71 reviews on Trustpilot and so many of them, like 98, 99% are five star with no one star reviews. This is, this is impressive stuff. Oh my goodness, that is a lot. Ah, or th that's one four star over there. Over here on Captera, Selden has an insane average of 4.9 stars from 34 reviews. That's not a lot, but compared to a competitor, say Zoho Commerce, which has 55 and already has a 4.3 star rating, Selden really does edge out its competitors. I think a lot of these would be beta testers, but I don't necessarily think that beta testers would be dishonest. And on another respected review site, g2.com, Selden also has an impressive score of 4.8 stars out of 5. No 3 star, 2 star, 1 star reviews whatsoever. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons. For the pros, Seldon is a complete e-commerce solution with no need for plugins. That ultimately means that you'll be saving hundreds of dollars per month. With competitors like Shopify, your monthly expense might be initially lower. And just based off my research, some page builder plugins cost like $15 a month for the basic features and $49 for the advanced features. Another plugin was $49 for inventory management, which Seldon already has. And I've seen plugins cost like like $699 for enterprise level use. And that's just one plugin. Seldon is a complete suite for less than that. WooCommerce also has a plugin ecosystem, except they have plugin conflicts on WordPress. Seldon completely does away with the need for plugins. If there is a feature that you need for an e-commerce store, there's a very good chance that Seldon already has it. And if they don't, there's also a good chance they'll add that in the future if there is enough demand from the users. Second pro, the UI is eye candy. The graphic art is gorgeous, and the design language is very modern and sleek. Almost Apple-esque. This goes for both the front end and back end UI. For something so serious, industrial, and normally boring, the Seldon UI makes you actually want to open your business dashboard. Business OS isn't just a marketing term, but a true guiding principle in their design language. Third pro, the UX is fast. For software this comprehensive, I've yet to encounter a bug. Now I'm not saying it's bug free, there will always be a glitch or two, but in my week of testing this software, there have been no bugs or glitches yet, thankfully. The only time I could think of the UI being slow was when the video thumbnail for the blog didn't load as fast as I thought it would. But I've got a feeling they're working on that. Now for the first con, the UI is eye candy, but it can be a little overwhelming, especially initially. Now we'll get to the initially in just a bit, but it is a bit much for those who have less experience with e-commerce. Perhaps the overwhelm just comes from the sheer amount of functionality that comes with Seldon right out of the box. And I could see that the categories and menus are really well thought out. So I reached out to one of the co-founders and asked him, hey, is there a Seldon light mode or maybe a search bar to help us find features? And he told me that they didn't have either yet, but if you scroll down to the bottom of your menu, app level is set to advanced by default. Now to confirm this, I did make a new store and it was set to advanced initially. But I think they could benefit from letting new users choose the complexity level that they want during the initial setup. I have read some reviews of people complaining about the UI being overwhelming, and I think that's just because they haven't had a chance to try the simpler version. Second con, you are putting all of your eggs in one basket. Having everything you need in one ecosystem means that if Seldon takes a hit, then so will your business. If you're going to create content on their platform, I suggest creating backups of your articles and data. Now, does this mean that you shouldn't consider Seldon? Not necessarily. This is kind of like a battle of philosophies between Android and iOS. Android is an open system, so there's more flexibility. So you can switch between a Samsung phone and say a Xiaomi phone pretty easily. But the apps can feel a bit clunky when used in tandem because they weren't made for each other. That sounds like a heartbreaking romance story. With WooCommerce and Shopify, you kind of have to figure out what extra plugins you want, so there's more flexibility in that sense. 
But with Cell Done, you don't have that flexibility, so to speak, but they have done the guesswork for you. They're essentially saying that the features that they have are essentially the features that you'll need. It's up to you if you think that convenience and seamlessness are worth the drawback of betting on one ecosystem. And for the conclusion, Overall, if you want an all-in-one business OS so you can sell and just be done, Seldon is a rising star and serious contender in the e-commerce space. If you want to save on plugin costs, avoid plugin conflict, and have a robust set of features even at the freemium level, then Seldon is worth considering. They've put some serious thought into this tool, and in my testing, everything just works. You can visit their website at seldon.com. If you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next video.